At the top tonight, new developments on the police shooting yesterday in the aftermath of an armed robbery that left an innocent 23-year-old man, Richie Salazar, hospitalized in critical condition. District Attorney Mark Gonzalez's office released a statement today saying they will be reviewing the evidence and will do it in a transparent and fair way. Our Michelle Pedraza spoke with Gonzalez tonight about this top story and also got an update from police and neighborhood reaction. Michelle? Well, Joe, District Attorney Mark Gonzalez told me that they will be treating the officer involved shooting like any other shooting, looking at past uh, situations, actions, the facts in the case, the circumstances that happened, and the officer's intent. Now, the officers involved in yesterday's shooting include Senior Officer Gilbert Cantu and Officer Jacqueline De Leon, who's been on the job for less than a year. Both have been placed on paid administrative leave as CCPD is investigating. Now, what we did learn about Officer Cantu is that he was involved in a shooting last April. Police Chief Mike Markle said it was a home invasion in which the suspects were firing at police officers. Markle adds that Officer Cantu was absolutely right to use his weapon in that case. In yesterday's shooting, CCPD says 23-year-old Richard Salazar was not a suspect in the store robbery. However, when approached by officers, he did not comply, leading to shots fired. Fired. Mark Gonzalez says his office will not be making any decision until they have reviewed every piece of evidence, witness statements, body and dash cam footage, any audio or surveillance video, as well as looking over CCPD's investigation once that is completed. Meanwhile, I spoke to a woman who's lived in the neighborhood where yesterday's shooting happened for 30 years, and here's what she had to say. I would have been upset. I saw, her, I saw the mom crying outside, and I saw her upset, and I just... My heart went out to her because, I mean, it could have been one of my kids. Well, I think that uh, the officer jumped the gun a little bit. <laughs> you know, sorry about the pun, but, you know, he kind of jumped the gun a little bit. He could have, like, waited to see what the kid was going to do. To me, he's just a young guy. He's not a troublemaker. I don't know, Ad, she heard about five gunshots during yesterday's shooting. She described the Salazar family as quiet. She said they had not lived in the neighborhood for even a year. Other neighbors who spoke to Salazar's mother say that he is in the hospital in critical condition and has undergone multiple surgeries and still needs more. Now, once the investigation is complete and the DA's office has reviewed it, they will most likely send it over to the grand jury. Meanwhile, uh, Mark Gonzalez tells me that he would like the public to be patient, not to come to any conclusions until the investigation is completed. For now, live from CCPD headquarters, Michelle Pedraza, 3 News. Okay, Michelle, thanks very much.